Hello, this is Bini here. Today, I'll be covering on Singapore banks. The last video which I did was around Jan 2024, which I covered DBS. Basically, on DBS, uh, this triangular pattern pending a breakout. So if you had entered on the breakout of what I've mentioned, then from the breakout point to the high of DBS, which is current price, is about a gain of 15%. Now today, I want to talk about Singapore banks again because UOB reported its Q1 2024 earnings and this earnings wasn't liked by investors, wasn't liked by the market. In fact, today UOB dropped by about 2 plus percent. Now in this video, I'll be looking at the technical price levels. That means that which are the price levels that you should be concerned about for UOB and this could help you in terms of your short term trading. I'll be covering more into how investors view the set of results and how they translate these results into price action. UOB had a muted start to 2024 as its net profit of 1.49 billion as has a slight decrease of 2% compared to the same period last year. And also, uh, there was a decrease in the net interest income, so that's down about 2%. Uh, even though that the overall profit dipped slightly, it exceeded analyst expectations and UOB CEO remains optimistic about their 2024 outlook. Now, one thing which I like to pick up is the comment from the group chief financial officer, Mr. Lee. He said that the bank initially forecast challenges for its name as the Fed rate cuts, uh, it's going to happen earlier. But it it's now seems slightly that the cut will be pushed back to the last quarter of the year. He said that NIM held up stronger than we thought. I personally expect some positive upside in the short term because we have cut rates on deposit, he said. He said he added that a lot of that will flow through in the second and third quarter. Let's take a look at the important price levels of UOB. First, uh, UOB has a resistance around here and that coming in from the previous level that's happened around uh, February 2023 around this level here. And this will explain why UOB had a spike up to this area, which is about 3150 and then move back down. Second, uh, what I like you to pay attention to is this two price level here, right? So there was a breakout of UOB around this place here. That means that you'll be actually traded higher and uh, if price can continue to stay above this level which is around $30.20 around here right that means that the breakout would be deemed as successful however if you take a look at the today's price section of UOB it's actually moved back down right so let's take a look at the day chart here uh, yes there was uh, this dividend, all right, so price dropped because of the dividend, but hovered for a while. And today, the drop out of this 30 uh, to, uh, 20 support level means that people who bought here, all right, that means the whole chunk of uh, traders or investors who bought here uh, in the hope that UOB could be moving higher right now they are actually facing a loss right based on today's price action so this is not uh, good for the price uh, of UOB because that's deemed as a previous support right that's being broken so the support is given by here which is the support level here but because today it broke below so then this level would be treated as a resistance again right now one thing to mention is that currently uob is being supported by this level here so that's about 2970 so i see this as a short-term support level which means that uh, you is likely going to get supported around here which is about 2970 but if price should move up and and in turn get resisted at 30 uh, 20 then there would be a further downside for UOB if the support is being broken again right that means the support of 2970 is being broken again hope that UOB doesn't uh, get resisted by 3020 and hope that it can continue to move up otherwise it might just form a reversal pattern of this upward movement here if you are looking at short term trading for UOB because it's being trapped by a support region and a resistance region, then SGX has this instrument which is called DLC. Right now, I'm at SortGen DLC website. If you would like to trade into UOB, uh, search under this panel here, which is UOB, and then click search. You should be able to find 
uh, uh, many uh, DLCs, right, which is daily leverage certificates of uh, UOB. And we have the daily short, which allows you to take a bearish view, and then a daily long, which allows you to take a bullish view, right? So when you apply the daily short, if you are bearish, then you buy a daily short DLC. If you are bullish, you buy a daily long DLCs. As you can see, long term wise, UOB is doing an uptrend, but short term is facing some resistance. Uh, so I think that this would be an opportunity for some trading, short term trading. And I've talked about DLCs and how you can apply that on UOB. Of course, trading with DLCs is uh, high risk as of trading with any other products. Please evaluate whether the instruments are suitable for you. All right, I come to the end of this video. If you would like me to cover into other Singapore banks, please leave a comment. Remember to click the subscribe button and see you in my next video.